If you use Z-Wave devices in your automated home and you want them to, you know, work right, it is essential that you take the effort to build a solid Z-Wave mesh network. This mesh network is how all of the Z-Wave devices in your house communicate with each other and your hub. Now, this network builds itself automatically, which is great, but, and this is extremely important, you need to follow the proper steps and you must give this mesh network time to establish itself before automating your devices. This can take several hours, as we'll discuss, but don't jump the gun on this. If you automate too quickly, it can lead to drop devices and other issues down the road, and you'll be hating life when you have to rebuild your mesh network. So let's walk through some tips for building a rock solid Z-Wave mesh network from the get-go. Tip one, start by locating your hub as centrally as possible. Avoid corners, basements, garages, pipes, dungeons, large metal objects, and other obstructions as much as possible to allow your signal to have as much strength as possible. Of course, you probably have all of those obstacles I just listed in your house, so tip number two is to use Z-Wave repeaters. These devices strengthen and extend the range of your Z-Wave signal throughout your house. Any Z-Wave device that plugs into an outlet or is wired to your main current, such as a Z-Wave wall switch, doubles as a Z-Wave repeater. Battery-powered Z-Wave devices, such as locks and sensors, are not repeaters. You'll probably want to put one repeating device pretty close to your hub, then scatter them throughout your house to maintain a great signal. Tip number three, our most important tip, is to include or discover Z-Wave devices into your Hubitat system in batches of 20 devices or less. Follow this four-step process as you include each batch of Z-Wave devices. Step one, if you are adding a device from a previous hub, you will need to exclude that device from that hub first, then perform a factory reset on the device. Each hub and device are different, so look in your device manuals for instructions. Step two, include your Z-Wave devices one at a time. You can learn more about this process in our How to Discover Devices video link in the description below. You'll want to include your repeating devices first, starting with devices closest to the hub and working your way out from there. Then move on to your battery powered endpoint devices, again working from close to the hub outward. Stop when you have included a maximum of 20 devices in a batch. Step 3. Let your hub run without any automations for 2 to 4 hours to enable the mesh network to establish itself with these new devices. Do not skip this step. Step 4. Run a Z-Wave repair to ensure all of the devices are using the most efficient communication route to the hub. If you have more than 20 devices, repeat this process for each batch of 20 devices, waiting 2-4 to four hours between each batch for the mesh to develop. If you have more than 80 devices, you'll need to stop after adding that fourth batch of 20 devices and let your hub run for 3 days without adding any automations or anything for the mesh network to build properly. After that 3 day period, you can add one batch of 20 devices per day until all of your devices are included. Taking the time to let your mesh network establish itself will save you a ton of time and frustration in the long run. Tip 4. Remove devices properly. If you are taking a Z-Wave device off your network, don't just unplug it and forget about it. You need to run a Z-Wave Exclude. This will not only allow the device to be installed on another hub at a later time, it will eliminate ghost nodes that will stick around and wreak havoc on your system if you don't. If a Z-Wave Exclude is not possible, you should force remove the device from your hub. To do this, select the device you want to remove in the Device Detail page, then click Remove Device. Follow these Z-Wave tips and you will have a robust Z-Wave mesh that will perform well for the life of your hub. If you have questions about Z-Wave devices or Z-Wave mesh networks, visit our online community at community.hubitat.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.